Hey, hey, hey. Buffs Boxing TV here. <clears throat> I want to quickly just thank all my subscribers for just following my channel, showing me love, um, liking when you can, even disliking when you can, and also throwing in a comment when you can. I, I just really appreciate it. I'm overwhelmed. Um, you will be getting videos like this more often. Just videos of quick analysis, quick recaps, just quick little to uh, topics. So, uh, yeah, I just want everybody to just go check out the Mark Breland article or post slash interview on Deontay Wilder. So, for people who are wondering who Mark Breland is, that's Deontay Wilder's ex-trainer. The trainer who allegedly got sacked by Deontay Wilder after his terrible defeat against Tyson Fury and the reason why I say terrible is because he got beat in a terrible fashion people wasn't expecting that type of beat down uh, um, to Wilder in that fight even though some did expect it a lot of Wilder fans didn't expect it but just to quickly um, hit the nail on the head and go straight to the point it's actually quite interesting because Mark Breland John T. Wilder's former trainer just he savagely just ruins him like he says a lot of things about how <laughs> how apparently Deontay Wilder has no jab all he has is his power and yes yeah, so all he all he has is his power to rely on and let's see where that power takes him or let's or let's see how far that power is going to take him if he does make a comeback and he, he said a lot of things which, which is quite interesting because he, he even mentioned the whole cheating allegation of Wilder coming out to talk about Fury's gloves being tampered with whereby according to him someone was handling Tyson Fury's gloves the whole time it was getting let's say you know getting wrapped or you know so he was saying listen the glove handler who's handling Tyson Fury's gloves if it was really tampered with they they should have seen it and secondly, he was like, listen, because you know Deontay Wilder called Mark Breland out for spiking his water, right? So Wilder said Breland spiked his water whereby there was muscle relaxers in his water that was spiked so that obviously he can't move as much or whatever. But Mark Breland was like, listen, I wasn't holding the water. You saw, you saw what, where the water was. So, the person handling the water needs to be, obviously, asked that question or put the blame on. So, according to Mark Breland, he's like, listen, Deontay Wilder's done. His career's finished. And, I don't know, he's just not taking a loss really well. You know, from ba from Baths Boxing TV, personally, I do fairly agree. Like, as, as much as I do admire Wilder's power... You know, I'm a big fan of boxing. I really admired his right hand, the way he was just taking people out with, with one hand, whereby his right his right hand with a lot of power. But honestly, if you if you're gonna lose a fight, you know it's it's it's, it's easier said than done. It's hard to judge, but if you're gonna lose a fight, I mean, you shouldn't really find excuses. But then again, we don't know what's going on with Wilder. If he is going if he is going through any form of mental health, like. He needs to get some form of help with it because he is. A, that's about everything. He's a great athlete, and we need Deontay Wilder in the heavyweight scene because he brings more. Sorry to say it, but he brings more spice. He brings more.